now this is very important question very frequently asked very very you know very very uh, like it's a very very important question and you cannot ignore this question now tell me uh, one one difference everyone from your understanding point of view or what we have discussed over here what's the difference between rfc and baby write down over here fast okay one one difference go ahead write down here be fast very very important question very 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 it's a very important question bap is fm yes rfc is also fm no difference right yes yeah satya is telling every bapi is rfc very good but every rfc is not a bapi very important difference if you tell this first difference you know your confidence will be increased your interviewer will be also happy yes all the rfc no no ampogas we don't have to tell like this we have to tell every bapi is rfc but all the rfc is not bapi okay tell like this this is one difference very good any other difference okay satya is telling bapi does not require middle wear okay we would require java connector suppose if you are going to uh, connect with the java or dot net so directly with the help of jco or from dot net i don't know but from java i have heard i have not uh, you know integrated anywhere but uh, this is true bapi does not require any kind of middleware however through middleware also we can call like you can integrate with pi okay well, like pi or xi system bapi can be integrated with pi or xi system but it is not mandatory so this is also one good point rfc also it is not necessary that you know you must have to involve that particular pi or xi without pi or xi also we can call the rfc so here i think this is not the significant difference okay so rfc and bapi both can be called from the different system without using the pi the main difference the main difference just to go here bapi rfc fm plus registered in bor okay that's fine good yes good very good bapi needs to be registered yes rfc need to be registered in order to become the bapi okay good so uh good so now let's go ahead and try to understand the difference so the very first difference the satya told that all the rfc cannot be a bapi but all the bapi must be a rfc the first significant difference the second very important difference rfc is a procedural concept you know rfc is a procedural programming concept on the other hand this bapi is the ops oriented concept object oriented concept remember this second point very very important point the second one okay third point bapi you know uh, uh give me some time i'm trying to remember and just take forward so bapi you know here i have written let's go here mm what i was trying to tell that yeah so that bapi is the object oriented concept right that is very important and rfc is the procedural concept right rfc is the procedural concept this this point is very important another another point i was talking about this one this this the you know this point this very important point bapi bapi you know suppose if you have a purchase order create you know uh, uh, bapi underscore po underscore create one right or bapi <clears throat> underscore material uh, save data or bapi underscore material save replica whichever bapi you take all the bapi represents a complete business functionality unit suppose if you have to create a material 
number right so one bapi will be dedicated for that particular business unit but in rfc you know or in the <laughs> function module if you talk about every time you will not get like this but bapi generally stands for the business unit okay one one single bapi represents the unit of business functionality so this is a very big benefit of the bapi actually this is the fifth point you know i'm stressing on this fifth point this is a very big benefit you know if you want to do any kind of operation whether it's a create change or update any kind of operation then if you are able to find and for most of the things like for most of the standard operation uh, whether it is a purchase order related or sales order related or for you know any kind of material related operations are there for each operation you have the bapi available you can directly go and use the bapi so that's the and you don't have to take care of the you know screens validations internal functionality so that is a very big benefit so you don't have to go to you know call transaction mm01 you don't have to write the bdc code for creating the material right the efficient efficient way so my question to you suppose if you have one option to create the bdc transaction and create the material this is one option you have and if you have one another option to use the bapi and create the material which option you would prefer as a abap developer right here in the chat box your answer you have two option one using bapi another using bdc this is also one very important interview question if you have one option to create the material using the bapi and another option using the you know uh bdc so which option yeah perfect so they vishal ompakas perfect yeah other people is confused right so here uh so basically what goro what you want to tell over here basically uh basically why you are writing basically 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 uh you can unmute yourself goro and if you want to speak something you can speak actually i was writing bapi but it was not getting typing correct oh ho oh, oh. ho okay okay i thought you want to tell something extra okay fine no issue so we bapi is the preferred choice bapi is the preferred choice why because here you don't have the screen involvement right here just you have to take care of the parameter and that's why it's going to be efficient okay so this is the preferred choice bapi is going to be your preferred choice so the important differences you came to know over here and just i am going to show you once again focus over here that the very first difference you have that all the rfc is not the bapi all the bapi is certainly is going to be your rfc rfc plus some extra rules will create your bapi for example you must have to pass as a type a structure when we are creating the import parameter and export parameter or change parameter any kind of parameter when we are creating while declaring the parameter type we have to give as a, a structure right where as in rfc this is not mandatory right this is not required another point rfc must be registered with a business object in order to be in order to become the bapi another point the four, fourth point that bapi represents always a complete business functionality on the other hand rfc represents not necessarily the complete business functionality it it is not necessary okay it is not necessary for but 
generally for for the bapi it's necessary to represent a business functionality because you are going to you know register with a business object then only it will make sense or otherwise simply creating the bapi will not make more sense so it's general things that bapi represents the complete business functionality whereas rfc generally does not represent the complete business functionality rfc or normal fm okay another very important point rfc is a procedural programming concept on the other hand oops uh, on on the other hand bapi is the oops oriented object oriented programming concept so remember these points here it is written right so very very important in today's interview question ask this question 